If you haven't already seen it, this week we take a look at Vin Diesel in Riddick, the year's most highly anticipated romantic comedy. This is the one with uh, Katherine Heigl, right? She plays the giant scorpion. Meow. Vin Diesel is back as Riddick, everybody's favorite interplanetary criminal who can see in the dark. As if we didn't already have enough of these guys. This time, Riddick faces off against bounty hunters, giant scorpions, zebra dogs, and more bounty hunters. Now, the first 20 minutes of this movie I thought were pretty cool. Vin Diesel stranded on this hostile wasteland planet and struggling every minute to stay alive. It's like Castaway, but with more aliens. Okay. This is the third movie in a trilogy that tries to mention the first movie as much as possible while mentioning the existence of the second movie as little as possible. Which leaves us with Riddick, a bleak space adventure featuring creative creature designs, misogyny, and sci-fi violence. Lots and lots of, uh, <coughs> sci-fi violence. Sorry, I just thought about <coughs> One sec. Oh, man up. The over-the-top violence is the best thing about this movie. I mean, listen. This is a meathead sci-fi creature feature shoot 'em up that actually earns its R rating. It doesn't try to play it safe for the PG-13 crowd. It's a lot like the uncensored version of this show. And now we show you how to dismember the bad guys just like Riddick, but using power tools. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is getting good. This entire movie takes place on a planet where literally everything is trying to kill you, which is exciting unless it's the entire two hours. After a while, it just becomes, oh no, another giant bug trying to kill me. Guess I better punch it. And do not go looking for salvation in the movie's dialogue. I mean, a whole world of action movie one-liners at their fingertips, and they go with frat jokes about the movie's only female character. I mean, come on, Riddick. Remember our sensitivity training. I give it a lukewarm see it. I mean, listen, this is by no means a great movie. The story feels unfocused, the special effects are hit and miss, but Vin Diesel owns this role, and if you're in the mood for some dumb, gory fun, hey, this one will do the trick. Riddick looks good, but it doesn't deliver a compelling story or characters that are even remotely likable. I say skip it. Unless, you know, it comes on TV, and there's nothing else on. And you have pizza. And remember, when the chains come off, you go in the first five seconds. And don't forget to get all of our reviews on Twitter, Facebook, and WJTV.com. Everyone knows you can't use one and a half inch blade depth on bone. I hate these guys.